A conversation with black women continues on ABC News Live. Here again, Deborah Roberts. We are just picking up all kinds of lingo. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could hear what's happening behind dropping the, the gyms, scenes. Dropping exactly. gyms, dropping everywhere. Dropping gyms <laughs> everywhere. Well, we're just about out of time, but as we end our conversation today, the last two years of this pandemic have been so especially tiring, and many of us just want to dive into some rest. LaShawns and I were talking about it just now, something so many of us need but don't have the luxury of getting. So what about the idea of rest? We started talking about it when I was growing up. Uh, we took a family vacation to Florida every now and again to visit a relative, but it wasn't like, you know, you didn't do vacations. I never saw my mom rest. I'm from a family of nine children. Ooh. And when I think about it, my mom was always cooking, always doing laundry, always this, that, whatever. The idea of resting just never really even occurred to her. When I look back on it now, I think about, like, I wonder what my mom really wanted to do with some downtime. And, yeah. you know, she never really had an opportunity to, to, to think about that. So what about you? How do you recharge, Yvette? I had to learn the hard way. I had a really bad situation. I was working, 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 um, and I didn't realize that I was about to hit the wall, and then the wall hit me. Mm -hmm. And I, my husband was talking to me, and I looked at him, and I didn't hear a word he said. He was mm -hmm. talking about, and I, like, just literally, I couldn't hear the words coming out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. Three days later, I was on a plane to Miami mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> and, and, and took a trip by myself to just shut it down. Yeah. And I had to forgive myself because I had to move some stuff and some say no to a bunch of people. And that was when I realized, like, either you stop or you're going to be stopped. My body has a capacity and it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit, I'm going to hit the wall. Mm -hmm. And I'd rather not hit the wall if I can avoid it. And so I schedule vacations ahead of time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to safe places. I'm staying safe. But I'm I'm also traveling, and I have something to look forward to. I have in my calendar, good night, Yvette. At the time, <laughs> literally in my calendar, it says, good night, Yvette. Go to bed, girl, um, so that I can go to bed. And there are days where it's just not possible. There are days when I'm working really, really long. But when I see open time on my calendar, I will just go to sleep. Oh, I yeah. promote it. Good, you good know? for you. It's, and it's, what, a, what, a, what a great husband, too, to yeah. see that for you. Yeah. My husband actually sent me away to a spa just l not long ago because he thought he's, you're fried. You need to go. You are fried. And he sent me by myself just to go do something. So he's such a great guy. Yeah, but I, I do think that, uh, you know, we don't think about that. And I am apologizing less now yeah, for mm. doing that because I used to always feel like I need to be working, working, working. And what, what, so what are you doing to recharge these days? And did you grow up in a home where you did vacations? Was that something? Thing. Was that a concept that was foreign to you? It was Florida. <laughs> <laughs> but those didn't feel, it didn't feel like vacation now that I think about it because you're going to go visit family yes. and mm -hmm. you're going from one house, right. but let's go to Miami, let's go to Orlando. Yeah. And by the time you get back home, you're not even recharged from the vacation. Right. Yeah. Um, so growing up, like you said, I saw my mom, my mom was a, my mom stayed at home. So she cooked, she cleaned, she did laundry. And so Looking back, I'm like, did she really want to do that? Mm. What else did she want to do? Who is, who, who is my mother outside of being a wife, a mother, and first lady? Like, right. I needed to see that. Yeah. And growing up, I didn't really see much of that. I just saw her just pouring into her children. Um, but I think, like, for me, where I'm at now, as a helping professional, you know, as a therapist, we're always the, per we're always the go-to people. We're the ones that are the helpers. And especially now in this pandemic, you find that mental health professionals are burnt out. Mm -hmm. They're overwhelmed. Yeah. So I think for me, one of the things that I've incorporated for the last seven years is taking a nap every single day. Oh, wow. I take a nap every single and day. And do you nap in the morning, in the afternoon, when? It depends. If I'm up at 5 a.m., I will take a nap between 8 and 9 a.m. Okay. But if I'm up at like a normal time, I usually take a nap somewhere between 12 and 2. Okay. So it really depends on my day. I set it in my schedule for the week. Wow. I look at my schedule to make sure I have a room for a nap. If I have too many back-to-back -to -back meetings, I will cancel something off my calendar, oh, good especially for you. if it's a virtual meeting. That's very, very, very important. We, we, we've talked about some of the stresses, some of the strains, some of the struggles of being black women, but we've also talked about some of the joys mm -hmm. of being black women. Oh, yes. And, and, and you know, LaShawn, every time I see you perform and, and, and just see you in general. I just think, wow, there she is. Uh, what, what, what is it you celebrate most at this point in your life about being a black woman? Well, I'm a woman of a certain age. And I, and I love <laughs> we both know about that age. <laughs> yeah. but we won't get into us, honey, it. We won't get into whatever it. that age is. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> she was fantastic. I just Amazing. had a nice, big, beautiful birthday, and I'm so proud. <laughs> but um, it, it, it's, it's really important to me that uh, when we are just, you know, existing as black women walking around the world, that we do have our joy, but also that we, I have learned to just really value who I am 
all of not just the parts that I, the good parts but the bad parts I all everything about me I'm starting to just celebrate and and I've learned to trust my intuition mm -hmm. more than anything if, if it doesn't feel right I immediately respond to that if I in, instead of trying to talk myself out of it right or to say oh chance you can do that film you know you love you just want to be you want to be in the movie but what if that 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 part is triggering what if something about that role is going to have me spiraling down into something emotional. I, I really protect my, my mental health now well, more than of, I ever did. I think that's so important. One of the things I really try to gravitate toward is thinking about when we talked about the history and mm -hmm. you said historically the things that we've gone through, but what we have built from that too. And yeah. we are strong people and we don't have to be strong all the time, right. but we come from survivors and strong people. Yeah. And that just sort of tells me that we can keep going. We yeah. can keep going even when times are tough. But we need our girlfriends. We, we do. We need, yeah. our we need our girlfriends. girlfriends. We need our sisterhood. We, we need do. our men too. But yeah. we definitely need our girlfriends. The I think to sort is of hundred percent real. I, I've never been so proud to be a black woman, and I've always loved my blackness. I've always loved being a black woman and everything that comes with that. I love that the world is finally seeing that black girls are magic. Yeah. Yeah. Always <laughs> been magic. Yeah. How, yeah. Been how about our right? speed skater? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We, 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 we might see a black woman. She's a distant cousin, by the way. We talked about Amanda. Gorman and that baby. Yeah. I mean, she oh, is mm -hmm. brilliant. Amazing. And so, you know, I love it. I love that people see it. I love that we're strong and vulnerable. Right. Yes. I love that we um, care for people. We hold e space for everybody. You know, I love that we are beautiful in all of our shades, dark, yes. light, and in the middle. Yes, yeah. right. Um, I yeah. love it. I love that black don't crack. Oh my gosh, okay. preach. Uh, she's gonna preach. She's gonna preach. She's taking advantage of that. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful thing, and I'm glad that the world sees it because it's not a thing of shame, it's a thing of beauty. No, well, well, on that beautiful note, we have to end. But, ladies, this has just been such a joy. <laughs> I hope you've you. enjoyed thank it as you. much as I, I have. So much joy. Yes. So thank you. So much thank fun. You. Nice Yvette you. Simpson, thank Marlene you. Francois Madden, LaShawns, thank you so much for this fascinating conversation. And for all of you out there, thank you for listening and for being present with us. I'm Deborah Roberts, and the conversation continues. So keep it going. Great seeing you all. Yay, good oh, to see you. Yay. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.